So you have just been diagnosed with kidney cancer, also known as renal cell carcinoma. What do you do now? How do you deal with the stress, uncertainty, and fear that this diagnosis brings with it? How should you approach dealing with your new diagnosis of kidney cancer that will let you have the best chance to be in control of the race you need to run? Your world just went out of control. You have been thrown off course with your life and probably are finding that you don't feel like you know what's happening. All of your plans have come to a halt as you consider how to meet this new challenge. And to top it all off, you're being told to do things that may be unfamiliar to you. You may feel pressured to make quick decisions before you are ready and before you understand what is happening. You may have questions that no one is answering. It is difficult to be diagnosed with kidney cancer. Usually there is no warning, it just happens. Sure, you may have some back pain or blood in your urine or some other symptom that seems sort of abnormal but not too serious, but then you had a scan or some other test that let you know that you had kidney cancer. If you are like most people that get this diagnosis, you want something done about it right now. Time takes on a whole new dimension when you have been told you have cancer. Thoughts run through your head, questions, time is flying by, what's happening? Why is it taking so long? Should I worry? I feel so out of control. Douglas Adams wrote a radio series in the 1970s that was later made into a book. The hero in this series, Arthur Dent, is given a book when his world is blown up. It is called The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The most comforting thing about this book is what is printed on its front cover. Don't panic. Arthur Dent's goals and plans were put on hold when he was forced to cope with something that changed his life. The words, don't panic, helped him stop and take the time to plan what to do next. Being diagnosed with kidney cancer is scary. Decisions have to be made about things you never thought of before. Everything seems to happen all at once and you feel like decisions need to happen now or you will not be successfully treated. Let's talk about the reality of kidney cancer. Yes, it is a serious problem. And yes, something needs to be done to treat the problem, but you don't have to rush into making decisions. Taking a little time to learn about your kidney cancer and treatment choices will not significantly impact the outcome of treatment and just might help you to understand and cope with this curve in the track that has been thrown in your life's path. Chances are that your kidney cancer has been growing in your body for a long time. So taking a week or two to take a deep breath and to begin to learn about how to fight this cancer is okay. When talking about kidney cancer, time is relative. You may find that from diagnosis to surgery to meeting with doctors to discuss treatment following surgery can take what seems like forever. When you have cancer, time compresses. Every minute that goes by is an eternity and a day delay in getting treatment. It is hard to understand what is taking so long to get an appointment to see the doctor. Don't they know that I have cancer and need treatment now? Well, the simple answer is yes. Doctors and healthcare teams that treat people with kidney cancer do know how stressful it is to wait for things to be done. But they also know that taking time to know the facts about your cancer can impact how well you do and optimize your treatment. It is not productive to hurry into a treatment without knowing all the facts. Cancer treatment is not a cookie cutter activity. Every person with cancer is different and what may be the best approach for one person may not be the best approach for you. So the bottom line is that you should take time to learn the facts about your diagnosis and discuss what the best approach to treatment is for you. Don't rush, learn the facts. Be your own care advocate. Doctors need to hear your thoughts and feelings. You need to ask questions to learn about what is happening. Doctors, nurses, and other healthcare workers can be great resources for you and help you understand what is happening, but they need to hear from you about what you need to know. So you have asked all your questions, learned all you can, and now you need to decide what to do. 
How do you know that the doctor you are seeing is giving you the information you need? Well, getting a second opinion is a good way to validate what you have heard and make sure you have all the facts. There are many good doctors that see cancer patients, but doctors that specialize in taking care of kidney cancer patients have spent years learning about kidney cancer and the best ways to treat it. When you get a second opinion, try to see the most experienced doctor you can. Going to a comprehensive cancer center that specializes in treatment of kidney cancer is recommended. You may be able to get a second opinion and then go back to your local doctor for treatment, but at least you will know that you have added to your own information about what your options are. So where are good cancer centers for getting second opinions? The National Comprehensive Cancer Network NCCN, an alliance of 21 of the world's leading cancer centers, is dedicated to improving the quality and effectiveness of care provided to patients with cancer. World-renowned experts from NCCN member institutions diagnose and treat patients with a broad spectrum of cancers and are recognized for dealing with complex, aggressive, or rare cancers. These institutions are found in many areas of the country and can give you the information you need to help you with the challenges you face in fighting your cancer. If you can't make it to one of these clinics, then search for an oncologist who has experience with treating kidney cancer. After you learn about your cancer and have the chance to discuss your individual case with your health care provider, Now you are prepared to become an active member of the team that will help you deal with your cancer. No team is successful without preparation. You can run a race, but if you don't know the course you are racing on, you will not be successful. Knowledge lets you know what is ahead, and that makes you prepared to handle it more successfully. The purpose of this presentation isn't to go into great depth about treatments, I will give you a brief introduction about options for treatment and also information about how to make decisions about what to do. Surgery is the primary treatment for kidney cancer. Removing a tumor with either a partial or complete nephrectomy or another procedure which accomplishes the same thing is a standard treatment if possible. After that, further therapy may be recommended if you have a tumor that is still growing in your body. Drug therapy falls into two general types, standard FDA-approved therapy or clinical trials. Standard therapy includes a variety of treatments classified by how they work in the body. Certain types of kidney cancer respond differently to different types of treatment. Some forms of kidney cancer may respond better to chemotherapy. Others may respond better to immunotherapy or targeted therapy. Which ones are right for you will need to be determined in a discussion that you have with your doctor. You may have a number of options that are open to you. How you decide which one to use may depend on which one will keep the most future options open. Sometimes if you get one treatment, that may eliminate another treatment's option. Sequencing of treatments with kidney cancer is an important consideration so that you keep as many options open for future use in case a treatment you receive stops working. This can become quite complicated and will require active discussion with your doctor to decide how best to sequence your treatment options. Clinical trials add a whole new level to options you may have, but also complicates decisions you make for your treatments. Clinical trials can expand the options you have for treatment. It is important to realize that all FDA standard therapies were once tested in clinical trials. So participating in a clinical trial may give you access to promising new approaches. It may be more effective than standard treatment, and it will usually give you a more frequent, close medical follow-up. The bottom line in making treatment decisions is to know your treatment options. Plan your treatments to optimize your choices and don't rush your decision. Don't self-treat. Work with your doctor to decide a treatment plan that is right for you. Whichever health care provider you decide to work with will depend on you to play an active role in your treatment decisions. This will make you more aware of the plan 
and what to expect, and also will give you control in helping to make your treatment as successful as possible. It's important to communicate. There are many resources for finding out accurate information about kidney cancer and treatment options. Start with the Kidney Cancer Association resources. The National Cancer Institute and American Cancer Society can also lead you to accurate, dependable resources. When you are diagnosed with kidney cancer, knowledge is power over the stress and fear that that diagnosis can cause. It lets you control cancer's impact on your life. Take responsibility for your care. Doctors and nurses are there to help you make decisions and help you be as successful with your treatments as possible. They need your help to do this. Communicate your questions, concerns, and needs. If you don't communicate, they will not know what you need and that leads to more stress and frustration. Healthcare providers care what happens to their patients. They hope for the best outcomes for all of their patients. But it is difficult to know what you need if you don't tell them. If you take time to prepare, if you take the time to gain the knowledge, if you look at the route ahead and plan how you will travel that path, then you will stay on course and will have control of your journey. Working as an active participant with your team of doctors, nurses, and other health care members, you will find that you have the knowledge and the support to be more successful in the journey that you began with your diagnosis. <music>